Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching, um, excuse me, 3D Konoha, Konojo Real Girl. 3D Konojo Real Girl, sorry. <laughs> um, so this was actually, I'm recording this the day after it was released. Uh, it got a little too late the day before, so... I mean, I had to work, so I didn't want to stay up till like, 4, getting everything ready. So I'm doing this one today, on, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Um, anyway, it should still be up the same day as the, uh, the other reactions before this, so, either way. Um, let's see. So, last episode, we were introduced to the two main characters. I wrote their names down so I don't forget. <laughs> Uh, Tsutsui Hikari, which is the male protagonist, and Igarashi Iroha, who is the female protagonist. Um, Hikari is basically an otaku, plays video games, watches anime, um, hates real women, apparently, um, prefers his 2D waifus. <laughs> Uh, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna hurt him. <laughs> um, but he ends up having to clean the school pool with the Roja. Uh, they were both late, so they ended up having to clean the pool. I think it was like during lunch or something. It was. It didn't even seem like it was after school, but it might have been after school. Like. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> anyway, he's thinking, you know, he's thinking about all the rumors he's heard about her, you know. Uh, rude. Um, cheats. Stuff like that. All the... Just about anything bad you could think of, there's a rumor about it. About her with it. Um, so he's basically thinking, you know, I'm, this is she's basically everything I hate about real women. And then he's thinking, all right, well, I'm probably going to end up cleaning the pool by myself because I doubt she's going to show up. But when he gets there, she's there before he is actually cleaning the pool. Um, see, they, I don't know, they don't even really talk that much, but uh, they both end up falling in the pool. And... Uh, I forget exactly what happens much after that. Like, in this scene, anyway. I know she started... She took off her shirt because it was wet and she was trying to, I guess, wring it out. And he's freaking out because she's just taking off her clothes. <laughs> um, anyway, I think he told her to just go and he would handle the pool or something. Um, next thing you know, they're cutting to another scene where he and his friend... I don't. I do not know the name of his friend, but he wears like elf ears. Um, seems like a cool guy. I mean, I'd probably hang out with him if he was a real person. <laughs> um, they're at basically a McDonald's. I cannot remember the name that they called it, but I remember commenting about how they just come up with any kind of variation they can they can for McDonald's. Um, anyway, they're at the McDonald's, they're eating, talking, and then this girl from their school, um, comes by, specifically to make fun of Hikari. You know, call him gross, and all kinds of other names, and he's just like, I mean, probably thinking what anybody would be thinking in that situation, <clears throat> especially those who don't really say a whole lot, like, they're not gonna start with, like, comebacks. Um, just thinking, you know, why is this happening? I'm just enjoying what I like to enjoy. Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> but Iroha shows up. She was at the McDonald's as well. And sticks up for him. Calls her gross. <laughs> and starts calling her names. Sort of. I mean... Whenever it came, like whenever the other girl was trying to say something to her, she would come up with something to say. But uh, 
yeah, ended up making her leave along with the friend that she was with. So, saved him and his friend. Um, they chat for a little bit, and then she leaves and goes to eat her food. Um, I think this is the next part where he is... I think he's... Pick, he's walking down the hall, and he turns a corner, and he sees this guy kissing her. Well, that's basically how it was. It didn't look like she was kissing him back. <laughs> but he was kissing her. And then another guy, who apparently she is seeing as well, gets upset, obviously, and is basically yelling, like, you know, what the heck is going on? What are you doing kissing this dude when you're supposed to be with me? You know, dating me? Are you dating this guy too? And she makes the comment, no, I'm not dating either of you. The other guy, the one who kissed her, was like, okay, look, I'm not a part of this, so I'm just going to leave. And he left. The other guy kept going on, ended up slapping her, and then tried to drag her off. And then Hikari decided to jump in and fight the guy. He hit him with this thing he had. It was like a tube I don't exactly remember what was in it, but he hit him with it. It didn't hurt at all, but, you know, he was doing something. And uh, she tried to tell him, you know, don't don't try fighting him. He's, I guess he was a part of the karate club, but he was doing it anyway. Um, he ends up getting his butt kicked. He's, like, knocked out on the floor, but she ended up staying and waiting for him to wake up. And then he tells her to leave. You know, he's pretty angry. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Um, and then I think the next day, or the day after, I don't know if it's like how long after that, she goes to his classroom and asks him to go out with her. Basically, he says no, but in a much harsher way. I mean, he remembers that she was kissing some other... or Well, he saw some guy kissing her... And then having a big fight between two guys. And now he's like, and now it's just, what, my turn or something? You're just going to come over here and just, like, ask me out now? Um, so obviously he said no. Basically, get away from me. Um, his friend is basically, you know, he doesn't know the whole situation. So he's just going up, going by what he was saying and I was like wasn't that a little mean I mean she did help you out he'll help us out at the, the McDonald's um you see he ends up I think it was he was leaving the hospital I think it had something to do with when he got beat up he was having something removed um and she's waiting outside of the uh, school not the school the hospital sitting on a bench and starts crying a little bit, not a lot. But then he spends the next, I don't know, few hours following her around, seeing where she's going and what she's doing. Basically, she went to a, like a couple of clothing stores, and then she went to a bookstore where she was reading a book. And this worker ended up running up to her, telling her that she needs to take out whatever book she has in her bag because she's being accused of stealing them. But she's like, I haven't stolen anything. I've just been standing here reading this book. But the worker isn't having it and is like basically ordering her to remove her bag and, and show her what's inside of it. So she just dumps everything out of her bag. And then she takes off the first layer of uh, clothing on the top that she has. And then she's getting ready to undo her skirt. Because, I mean, if you're going to accuse her, or anybody, of stealing, <laughs> then I guess I'm just going to do whatever I'm going to do to prove that I didn't steal. And for her, that was dumping out her bag, taking off her top, and then undoing her skirt. Because, I mean, where else is she going to hide something? Um, but Hikari runs over to her before she can, like, unzip her herself. And basically tells the worker, look, she didn't steal anything. 
she's been standing here the entire time reading this book I know she didn't do it and starts listing off what she's been doing the entire day um so the worker says alright I believe you okay you didn't steal anything and then she just walks off um ends up going to the next day where they're late again to school and they end up having to clean the pool and he asks I think he believe he asks her why she was late again and she said oh well, I was late because I figured I'd run into you and tells him you know don't worry about coming to the pool I'll do it myself and then goes off um, he's been having a hard time dealing with his feelings the last few days or so however long it was between the first time he met her till now basically wondering if it's like okay for him to fall in love since I guess he had dedicated himself to <laughs> 3D girls or 2D girls I should say and then he goes to the pool and basically just asks her out. And that's when she tells him, you know, she's going to go out with him, but she's only really got, I guess, six months left until she transfers schools. So it's not going to be a very long relationship. <laughs> but while, they're, while she's still there, she's going to, I guess, make the best of it. Um... She does speak her mind a lot, so, I mean, I can see how people could find that rude as far as her, the rumors go. Uh, cheating, well, she was caught with two guys, so, you know. Um, I don't know what kind of situation that was, whether she went out with them once and they just kind of took it as a, well, now we're together kind of thing, or if she was actually dating them. And she was caught. I don't know. Either way, it didn't look good. <laughs> um, I know there were a few other rumors. I mean, she's always late, so that was one of them, I believe. Um, anyway. Some of the rumors are true, some of the rumors aren't. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. And see how this relationship goes. Uh, as you can see, I got more light in here now. I had to take out the lights me and Belle bought, or Belle and I bought the, uh, what was it, like a few months ago, six or so months ago, um, because it is really dark in here, mainly because I think my light bulbs aren't the right wattage, I need to get brighter ones, but until then, these will work, you know, I'm not sitting in the dark, <laughs> at least by the way the camera looks, um, so anyway, let's get into this reaction. Uh, there we go. So the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. 